Whatever you ask, she gives. Is she giving or not? Yes. So similarly, cow. Similarly, cow. We love what our mother is giving us. The same thing, ditto to ditto. No change. Go mata gives us. That is why it is called go mata. Okay. One more thing. Have you ever gone to close to Buffalo? No. Has anyone? No. You have gone to close to Buffalo. Could you go? Could you go? What is the smell? Terrible. Now you go to our cows. You see what is the smell. Cow is such an animal which gives you the same sweet loving smell when you reach your mother. I guarantee you can experience today. You can experience today that cow is very close to our mother so anyone can approach cow. Anyone can approach cow, anyone can touch cow, anyone can tamper cow, anyone can Pamper cow. Want to say something? In my village, uh, my grandmother stays, so uh, she, gi she gives uh, cows to eat bananas. Very nice. Very nice. So, whenever you happen to go to see cows, you don't go empty handed. Don't go empty handed. You have to take something to feed them. Of course, today it is okay, it is an exemption because I have not told you. Fine. So, whenever you take milk, whenever you think of taking milk, insist on cow milk. What you should do? Which milk you should take? Cow milk. Only cow milk. Say three times. Which cow milk? Which cow milk? Give cow milk. Why give cow milk? You have seen two kinds of cows. One is flat back cow. One is a cow having a hump. Like this. A cow having a hump. And a perfectly formed shape. Okay. Why do we like people? Why do we like people? Suppose if there is a cylinder. So what if I am like a cylinder? Do you like me? Yes. If I am like round, long, without any curve.
move fast. Yeah, move fast. Children, move. Wise move. Enough, 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 move. Yeah, move. Yeah, move fast. Children. Okay, move. Move slowly. Move slowly. From where the sunlight is coming? See, see which vegetables are there. Yeah, don't touch. Don't touch. Here. The water is going to that particular plant. Okay? We are not over flooding it. We are slowly sending the water through small, small. It doesn't last for more than 4 hours after making it. 
unless something is added to that, or it is unless it is processed, milk will not stay like that. It will break because lactose acidus will start forming. It will become active. So in order to keep it down, in order to keep it dormant, what we should do is they add potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, and caustic soda. These are all dangerous chemicals for the human health, but they form the cell by of the For how many days? For seven days. So whatever milk we are getting now, it is normally between three days to seven days. So what else we are taking indirectly? Poison. We are taking poison indirectly, both in concentrated and really daily. It is a slow poison. People who are having micro intolerance, I think you are. The moment milk is taken, wanting sensation, and after that, it is a very bloating of the stomach, feeling heaviness in the body. All these things are coming because of fat only. So, what do we do? If I say, sir, you are blamed everybody else except you, and what do you do? I will show you one here. We milk here, we drink the milk, that is the whole milk cooler. We keep the milk in the cooler for one hour. That's an instant chiller. It chills the milk to two degrees temperature immediately. When once it is chilled, we cool it out and keep it in the cold room. Kill it then. Then we keep it in the cold room. Then we start fascination unit. You, you need to understand what is fascination. Very man, very very key. Yeah. So what is fascination? What my mother does at home, what you people are doing at home, when you start taking, before taking milk, you will boil. To what degree is your boiling? Higher temperature. Okay. Why you are boiling? To kill the dark bacteria. Okay. Same thing we are doing here. Same thing we are doing here. But at your home, what you do is, you boil it and allow it to cool on its own in the ambient temperature. But whereas here what we are doing with technology, with the help of technology, we are heating it and cooling it in the fraction of 15 seconds. So what happens, this is called fasciation unit. In this fasciation unit, this is the chamber which is more important for anyone. This is the chamber. It is called PHE chamber. Plate heat exchange chamber. In this chamber what happens is, Milk is exported from one, this is, these are the plates. Milk crosses through these plates. When the milk is going through this plate from one side, temperature at the rate of, it will go up to 90, you will see. Above 80 degrees temperature, it is hitting from one side. From the other side, 4 degrees temperature is hitting. So, any science teacher here, biology, geology, biology, geology people, they know, the bacteria or any human, any living being, they develop resistance to one kind of atmosphere only. When a living creature or a bacteria or virus, whatever it is, the science says that when once it is exposed to two climates at a time, it gets killed. That is the clue what Mr. Louis Pasteur has identified. That is why it is called pasteurization. So it is nothing but heating the milk and cooling the milk in that fraction of 15 seconds so that the bad bacteria which is going to affect the milk getting some spoiling, it is arrested here. Still, again that is a living matter. It will regenerate over a period of 6 hours only. So is it possible to pasteurize every 6 hours? No. So that is the reason why what we advocate, what we recommend, what we request is please, 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 please don't go for pouch milk at all. Just because of this reason. Don't go for pouch packing milk at all. Because it is seven days old, preservative is not added to that. It is pasteurized for more than two, three times. Every time they pasteurize, every time they add. That is business. Whereas in our case, we are doing it out of our passion. 
But still what we are doing is, we are also doing business. We are not giving anything free. But still what we are doing is, we are taking every care that hygiene is maintained, quality is maintained, nutrition values are maintained, and proteins are maintained. That is how we do the pasteurization. We just pasteurize and pack it. What we do is next hygiene part. This is pasteurization. Is it clear? Any doubts? After going home, you can't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> this is balanced oil tank. This is called it. balancing tank. Milk is poured in this. It goes to the pipe. It is exposed to the heat. And I take it again, it is getting recycled in here till it reaches this, the, pressure, the temperature that we require. That is cooling. IVT is switched on only when once it goes up to 42, 45. So this is milk out temperature. This is milk in temperature, milk holding temperature. So now milk is held at 71 degrees. I'll allow it to hold till 90 degrees. Till such time it gets recycled. Now we are pasteurizing the milk for making curds. So we don't pull it. Now we don't pull it. In, in the evening when we send it to the customers, we pull it and send. We are now for making curds we need hot milk. We need hot milk for culturing. So okay, now in this morning session we don't pull it. But I explained it. I have explained the moment IVT is switched on, this 19 degree temperature will keep on going down. Now I want to raise it to 42, 45, 52 degrees. Because unless I raise it to that temperature, curd will not settle. Understand? So this is the part which we are doing in the processing of the milk. Other than this, we don't do anything. We don't separate cream. We don't add milk powder. We don't add anything. Just like the kitty cup. Okay. Then coming to the hygiene part. You turn this side. If you don't mind, do you mind it? Two minutes. We send milk in bottles. Okay. Those empty bottles are collected back and they are soaked here in hot water and soap water and they are brushed here for cleaning. Okay. Then we rinse it by reversing it and putting on. The jets will come and hit the bottle from inside. It will clean everything. Then the bottles are kept in this uh, sterilizer box. At a time, 180 uh, bottles are kept in the reverse direction. And the hot air will come from the downstairs, uh, from the bottom level. Steam will sterilize the bottle. The sterilized bottles are picked up and then they are filled it with the milk. They are sealed and they are sent like that. The bottles which you are seeing there are those. And there is a third incubator. We make dots here in this. We fill the milk up, heating it This is called bilona. Okay. This is called in house. What you people do is you put it in mixing. Yes. You put it in mixing. Yeah. It goes in high speed. Yeah. It generates heat. Oh. The medicinal values will go. Oh. You will get ghee. You will get makkan, oh. but no medicinal value. Here, if you see, you touch it. Then there is no heat. You touch it at the bottom. Okay. The same thing what we have done is we have developed, we have multiplied it. We have, uh, what is call it? We have uh, magnified it. Okay. So at the time, 50 liters here, 50 liters here, 100 liters can be turned. There are two bottles, two below now. And then butter is taken out. And the, after taking, after separating butter, we boil the butter on mild heat and so that to make the ghee. Yes. And balanced buttermilk is pouched. Where is the pouch packing machine? Yes. It is here. Yeah, yeah, it, it is here. Yes. So pouches are packed. The pouches which children are <coughs> taking now is that. Okay. Wonderful. This is what we